Welcome to the Pro Kitchen Dynamic Design Showcase Tutorial. If you're familiar with Pro Kitchen's print templates, they are now customizable and render dynamically. Instead of spending hours generating images of doors, finishes, hardware, and accessories, creating screenshot after screenshot of floor plans and elevations to create a presentation for your customer, you can do it in minutes with the Dynamic Design Showcase feature. Everything is saved and dynamically renders right into Pro Kitchen without any additional software or revisions. To get started, I'll expand my ribbon and unhide my toolbar since I've added the Dynamic Design Showcase to make it more accessible, or it can be located on the Presentation tab in the ribbon. Before I launch the Dynamic Design Showcase, I can format my page settings, page size, orientation, and margins. I can select the number of pages I want to start with. I can always add or remove pages later. I can choose to include my stamp form. I can click on the stamp form button to review or change my information. Select grayscale if I don't want to print in color and add a border. For this example, I'll keep them all off and click the dynamic design showcase icon. Using the toolbar, you can print to a printer, print to a PDF file, save the template to the computer, or save as with a new name or location. Open a saved template, Close the existing template, ProKitchen will prompt you for a name if it's new. Add a page, delete the current page. Everything in your showcase is displayed in a frame called a view. Add a view, clear the view contents but keep the frame. Add a comment view, add an option view, delete the selected view. Comment editing tools, undo, redo, display the grid line, snap a frame to a grid line, lock or unlock all views, zoom in, zoom out, or manually adjust the zoom, use mover to move an item in a view, change the scale of an item, or change the page that you're working on. I'll start by adding my logo to my showcase. Click the add view icon, place my cursor on the template, click to select a position, hold the button down to draw the frame, click to set. Now I'm going to right click, select add, notice the options, plan view, Elevation View, 3D, 3D HD, BOM, Custom Image. Plan View and Elevation Views display the views I have in my design. The choices are the tabs I named my views when I was designing so I know exactly which view I'm selecting. 3D, 3D HD render the view according to which options I select. BOM will display the bill materials, but I want my logo so I'm going to select Custom Image. Locate my logo on my computer and click Open. I can freely move the frame anywhere I want. If I change the size of the frame, the image will adjust accordingly. Next, I want to add some text. So select the comet icon. Notice the comet tools appear. I'll click on the T for text and move my cursor to the template to launch the comet tool. I can use a saved comet or type a new comet. I can change the font, font size, font color, make the typeface bold and italic by checking the boxes, then click OK. Again, I can freely move the frame and position it under the logo. Now I want to add a plan view, so I click New View, draw my frame, right click, Add, Plan View, and select the view. That's not the view I wanted, so I can right click to clear the view, right click again to select Add, Plan View, and select the correct view this time. I want to fill in the frame more so I can adjust my ratio, readjust my frame, then use the mover to position the design in the frame where I want it. Click on the mover icon to turn it off. When the cursor is across here, it's in input mode and I can't do anything until I turn it off. Next for my showcase, I want to add a nice 3D rendering, something that will really stand out and impress my client. So again, add a view, draw my frame, right click, add, 3D HD. I want the front view of the appliance wall at zero degrees. High def is photographic quality, so it takes more time to render, but definitely worth the wait. If HD rendering is taking too long, you might need to free up computer resources by closing other programs running on your computer, or get your computer a tune-up. Just like a car, your computer needs regular maintenance to run at optimum capacity. Once my HD is rendered, I can move the frame to adjust the position. Notice, whatever frame I'm working with is red to show that it's selected. Now I want to add my customer's options. I can easily add their choices by clicking on the Add Option icon and selecting an option from the drop-down list to place in my showcase. I'll start with the cabinet doors and drawers. Select the door. Since this is a two-color design, I have the choice of which color I want to add. 
These settings are taken directly from the global specifications, so not only is the color displayed, but the door drawer style is also. The frames are transparent. In other words, there's no background color, so I can place one frame on top of another, and since it's transparent, I can see the frame's contents behind it. I'll go back and add my second color. It's as easy as picking a door from the drop-down list, selecting the second color, and dropping it into my showcase template, positioning it. Then I'll go back and add the second drawer. The Add Option icon drop-down list includes both base and wall doors, drawers, finish colors, countertops, backsplashes, wall, floor, and ceiling colors, as well as the molding styles and finishes of your design. I'll add the countertop next, using the Add option, select Countertop, and position it in my showcase. Now for the backsplash. Since this is from my image collections, I know I have the texture saved to my pictures. I can still add images using the Add View, Draw the Frame, Add, Custom Image, and select the image from my computer. I can position the view in front or behind the countertop frame, adjust the size, add text using the comment tool. But since it's an imported image, it will not be dynamic. In other words, it won't change if I change the backsplash in my design file. Custom images should only be used when the image isn't dependent on the design file, like your logo or comments. Once I'm done adding all the views, I can turn off the frames. I can click on one frame and unselect Show Border, or I can click on the template itself, check Show All Borders, and then uncheck Show All Borders to turn them all off at once. I'm done with my first page, so I'll change my page count to 2, or I can simply use my scroll on my mouse to page down and start adding my elevations. Again, I'll add a view, draw a frame, right click, add, elevation, select the elevation by tab name. I want three of my elevations, so I'll add them first, and then adjust my frames afterwards. I want the customer to have a good look at both walls and the inside of the island. I'll adjust the scale to fit the frame. Adjust the frame as needed. Use the mover to move the view in the frame. Remember to turn off the mover to make any frame adjustments. I can always make changes to the view by selecting the mover again. I'll make adjustments to the frame, views, and page until I get the look I want. I can add any images I want to draw my customer's attention. Light fixtures, furniture, and faucets really aren't visible in my elevation views, so I'll add them as custom images to my showcase. I'll add a view, add, custom image, and select the file from my computer. I can add images from websites, spec books, or even Pro Kitchen. Keeping in mind that if they get changed by the customer and change the design, I'll have to correct them in my showcase manually because they're not connected to my design. I can easily rearrange my frames until I'm content with the presentation. I'll move the faucet between my lamps and add the stool. Add a frame, add, custom image, and select the file off my computer. I don't like all the extra white space. Because of transparency, I can place frames on top of each other, but if the images overlap, I can set the order the frames are layered by right-clicking. Send Forward will place the selected frame one layer above the overlapping frame. Send Backwards puts the selected frame behind the next frame. Send to the front will bring the selected frame in front of all overlapping frames. Send to back will put the selected frame behind all overlapping frames. Now I've made room for my customer's plan view. Again, when I'm satisfied, I can turn off all my frames, but I have to make sure I'm not on a single frame or I won't have the All option to select. My third page I'm going to use for the bill of materials. Again, add a view, select bomb, and place. I also have a plan view with the labels of the bomb line items so I can quickly point out the bomb items in the floor plan, so I'm going to add that. The only thing missing in my customer's choice is the molding, so I'll add those options here. I don't have any rail moldings enabled in my design, but I'll go ahead and add the option just in case the design changes and I use them later. I'll turn off my frames again and save my dynamic design showcase. I'll also save it to a PDF because any changes will run to the next time I open this DDS template. Now I'm going to close my showcase window, minimize my Pro Kitchen, and open up the PDF I just made. There's my presentation, ready to show my customer, designed in less than 10 minutes. So, I've presented my showcase to my customer, and of course, they made some changes. So, I'll open up my design in Pro Kitchen. First, they changed the second color from gray to ivory, so I'll make the change in my global specifications. Next, 
They wanted what the island would look like on an angle. So I'll rotate the island and place it. Just for fun, I'll pull out one of the chairs. Remember the light rail I wasn't using? I'll enable it in my design settings. Add and remove the moldings to apply the change in two clicks. But I'm not going to change the color so it's easy to see. And I'll render the 3D. I'll take a good look. Satisfied with the changes, I'll close the 3D. Now I'll launch the Dynamic Design Showcase and open up my template. It will take a few minutes to re-render my changes and rebuild my showcase. Notice, the island is moved, the stool is pulled out, and the light railing is added to the 3D. The second color door and drawer are changed. On the second page, I have a little cutoff, so I'll tweak the stool placement. I don't have to show the frames, just unlock them with the lock unlock icon. Adjust the stool's placement, fix my plan view by adjusting the frame and using the mover to position the plan. On the third page, the light ray of molding is now present. I position it and save the presentation to PDF. Let's compare the PDF side by side. On the left is the revised showcase, on the right is the original. As you can see, the changes are clear. There, a full showcase designed, presented, revised, and presented again in less than 15 minutes. How much time can DDS save you? Thank you for watching our video. I hope you found something beneficial in our presentation.